Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my morning and evening skincare routine. Several of you have asked me to do this video, so that's what I'm bringing you today. And my skincare routine is pretty simple, natural products, but yet affordable. And you will see kind of a wide variety of different brands. And also I've included a couple of my DIY products that I use, a toner, and my evening facial oil combination. So I will have links to my blog uh, where I give you kind of the recipe for those two items as well as links to all the other products that I've used. Now for reference, I do have slightly more combination skin, um, but definitely need the anti-aging properties in skincare as well. So that has been my focus, and again, it's natural skincare, but yet super affordable. And this has just been my go-to for probably the last year and a half, two years. Um, every once in a while I may supplement in some different products here and there, but this is always what I go back to. So if you're interested in seeing how I take care of my skin on a daily basis, then just keep on watching. All right, so in the morning, I start off in the shower by cleansing my face with the Cebu Cleansing Face and Body Bar. Love this, does a great job of cleansing the skin without over drying. Then I take the Everyday Coconut Face Toner and spritz on at least six to eight good sprays of this. It's so refreshing, take a deep breath because it smells like coconut and papaya. Next up, I apply my face serum. This is by the brand Now, and it is the Hyaluronic Acid Firming Serum. And it has a pump, and so I just use one pump of that. It's a clear gel-like consistency. Rub that in all over the face until it completely absorbs. And you wanna focus on the areas that have need of more firming. So for me, that's my forehead and my cheeks around my mouth and then the remaining amount I will take down onto my neck. Next it's time for a moisturizer and I use the Acure Day Cream and this is a really great moisturizer but it does not have a sunscreen so I add the Bare Minerals Prep Step. This is SPF 50 and it's just concentrated sunscreen so you can add it to moisturizer foundation primer, etc. It does have to be shook up and I just like to add two to three drops to my dollop of moisturizer. Mix that together and then apply all over my face, working it in. This moisturizer is a really good moisturizing one, but it does not leave your skin feeling greasy. It absorbs quickly and best of all, it smells like oranges. So it's really refreshing. Love to take a few deep breaths after I apply that as well. Helps perk me up in the mornings. Now it's time for some eye cream. And again, by a cure. This eye cream is wonderful at waking up the eyes. It does have caffeine in it, so it helps diminish dark circles and puffiness, and it acts within about five to 10 minutes. You can actually see some brightening. It absorbs quickly. Um, after applying it all over my eye, I like to rub it in with this Real Techniques Steel Ball. It's super cooling, feels so wonderful on the eyes, and again, helps reduce puffiness and kind of helps wake me up in the morning. Now in the evening, I start, of course, by pinning back my hair and then removing at least the first layer of makeup with a makeup towelette. These are from Up and Up from Target. I change this up, different brands, uh, but I just press this into the skin, gently wipe away the first layer of makeup, and then I'm going to go in with cleanser, and again, it's the Cebu Cleansing Face and Body Bar. 
and that will remove almost all of the residual makeup. But as you can see, those good eyeliners that stay on really well, I usually have to go in with a little bit of coconut oil to remove the last bits of makeup. So it doesn't take a whole lot, just a tiny little bit. Rub that between my fingers and massage it gently over the eye area, keeping my eyes closed. And then you can go in with either a damp uh, cotton pad or just a tissue and gently wipe away the excess oil and makeup. And then it's time to cleanse and exfoliate. So I will use the Sephora cleansing brush or if I'm gonna use my Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion, this is where I would do that. Tonight I'm just doing the good old face brush and my cleanser, massaging that in the skin. This is such a good thing for your skin, keeping it clean, exfoliating, and helping reduce the look of fine lines. Then I will gently, gently dry and just press that towel. Try not to pull my skin. Dry off my face really, really well. And then it's time for some toner. And the toner I'm using is my DIY toner, and it's just a mixture of witch hazel, grapefruit seed extract, a couple essential oils, and some vegetable glycerin. And I like to go over my face twice with a cotton ball and this toner to make sure that I got all the makeup off, especially around the hairline and under the jaw. And then I just find it also helps kind of close up the pores and prepare for our moisturizer. Now, if I have any trouble spots up here, which I do occasionally, I use the Clinique Acne Solutions Clearing Gel, and I just spot treat any little acne spots that have come up. And then I go in with my NOW Hyaluronic Acid Firming Serum again. One pump of this, and again, just gently massaging this into the skin until it completely absorbs. And now for under the eye area. At night, I like to add a little extra moisture, so I start with tiny little bit of coconut oil and just gently tap this under the eyes and just keep tapping until it is mostly absorbed under there. Then I go in on my face with my DIY um, face serum and I like to transfer it into a smaller bottle and keep the larger bottle in the refrigerator. Um, I'll have the recipe for this below, but it's rosehip seed oil, grapeseed oil, tea tree oil, and lavender essential oil. And I just love how hydrating this is. It's so good for my skin. It helps calm it. The tea tree oil keeps any bacteria from growing on my face. And this is just kind of a time where it's the final step for my face, so I like to just take deep breaths press this into the skin and get myself relaxed and ready for nighttime. So just keep working that into the skin, pressing it in until it absorbs. Now for the final step under the eyes, I go back with my Acure Eye Cream. After that coconut oil has absorbed a little bit under the eye, I top it with this. And again, this helps with dark circles, fine lines, and this really absorbs um, into the eye area if it doesn't end up dry. So really like this, just gently massaging under the eyes using my fourth finger, the weakest finger on the hand, so I don't tug and pull at that skin there.
And then last, we can't uh, ignore our lips. So overnight, I like this Alano Lips Strawberry Balm. Smooth that on my lips. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.